Okay, Risk of Rain 2, Survivor Tier List. All of these tiers, these are objectively correct. Everything I rank here is objectively correct and it is definitely not an opinion. Okay, so we're just gonna go by the order that it gives us here. Starting with Acrid, so Poison Doggo. Pretty good. I wanna put him at like, you know what? He's good, but due to being melee, like hybrid, he's gonna go in A tier. Like he's, he's good, like you can use poison. Don't use Blight, if you use Blight, you are not smart, you are not, you are just brain dead. You are brain dead. You are brain dead. If you use Blight. Same if you use the Bite instead of the Poison Spit. Okay, next character, Artificer. Artificer honestly gets underrated. Artificer does actually pretty good, but you know what? It's still B tier. She just, like even with Ion Sir, she just doesn't have the right type of mobility to dodge everything. And she's just like, she has good burst damage and everything, but she kind of can like she can fall off pretty quickly if you don't get like really good items and in that case just use the artifact of command bandit yes our cowboy brother i don't think i have to say anything but you know i still am s tier bandit is just amazing automatic criticals from behind already does a crap ton of damage like he's just goaded and then you have Hemorrhage, which is basically a better built-in bleed that you just have. And then you have Lights Out. Don't talk about Desperado. If you use Desperado, what are you doing? Are you human? What are you doing? Like, do you have human intelligence if you use Desperado? I don't think you do. Lights Out is the way to go. Next up, Captain. Hmm. He's pretty good, like, the shotgun with bleed is broken the only problem is in alternate dimensions you just lose half of him and the taser is useless so you basically have only primary and he doesn't have mobility he would go s tier if he had mobility but he's not so he's getting a tier commando oh my god commando we don't even have to talk about it it is commando this guy shoots enemies for the least damage in the game. He has the least damage in the game. He has the worst mobility skill in the game. Like, he, it's, he's so bad. Why do you want to run around with mediocre health? Barely any damage. Like, you shoot them 20 times and they feel like they just got tickled. Like, it does nothing to them. Commando is completely useless no matter what alternate things you use. Yes, Phase Blast, the alternate secondary, is actually decent at close range, but that's to compensate for the fact that his guns are literally water guns. Next, Engineer. S tier. S tier, S tier, S tier. Whether you're using the shield or the harpoons, goaded. But however, if you don't use the stationary turrets, you literally have brain worms. You don't know what the hell you're doing in life. You need to reevaluate your life choices because the walking turrets are not the way to go. They suck, they're so bad. Why do you wanna use the walking turrets when the whole point of engineer is bungus? Bungus, bungus, and more bungus. You only do bungus on engineer and that's the way to go. An engineer with one bungus is very powerful and will literally wipe out teleporter bosses just because the turrets will not die and they inherit all of your other items as well. I don't think I have to say much more. Engineer S tier. Actually, you know, he goes in front of Bandit. Yeah, he goes in front of Bandit. Okay. Heretic. Heretic. Overrated. Like, what do you want to do? Okay, so visions of heresy what so that's it's it's a decent thing but it's proc coefficient is lower so it's just like no 
No. You don't like that primary. Sure, it does decent damage, but you're barely procking anything because it has like, what, half, like 0.5 proc coefficient? I forgot the numbers for it, but it is a low proc coefficient. And then Hooks of Heresy. That thing moves so slow. What the hell do you want me to do with that thing? It's literally mercenary slicing winds, but it travels way slower and it will never get to the enemy. And then, let's see, the mobility. Sure, you heal, but it, it scales terribly, and it's like just a worse volcanic egg. You don't want to do that. It's still better than Commando, but Heretic is not that good. Huntress. A tier. I want to put her in S tier, but she's too squishy. She dies so quickly if she starts getting hit. Whether you're using Strafe or Flurry, Huntress has good damage. But does good damage matter when, if you get hit twice by, like, overloading wisps, you're just dead? Like, she has good damage and good mobility. That's why she's in A tier. She would be in B tier if she didn't have good mobility. But she has good mobility, so she's A tier. But if she had good health, too, she would be S tier. Loader. We don't have to talk about it. We literally... Spider-Man combined with One Punch Man and then gender bended. That is Loader. That is all Loader is. Loader is broken. This, it's literally the perfect speedrun character. You do too much damage. You have infinite mobility. You have way too much damage with a little bit of speed and your punch. You create barrier for yourself when you hit enemies. Like, you literally already have your own sense of healing without any items. Same with damage, same with speed. It's just a broken character. Next. Mercenary. Also S tier. I don't know if I want to put him in front or behind Bandit. You know, he goes in front. Because Mercenary's like, his damage kind of lacks. But who cares about his damage when you are literally invincible for like 90% of your gameplay? Like 90% of the time, you are just sitting there in invincibility frames unless you're weird and you're using the alternates, which you shouldn't be. If you're not using the alternates and you're being smart and using the pro just the regular kit, he is broken with iframes. Like, how the hell are you, like, you're just not going to get hit. You're never going to get hit because you're sitting there in iframes 90% of the time. And if you can't dodge for 10% of the time that you're out of iframes, then what the hell? Don't play Risk of Rain if you can't dodge for only 10% of your existence. Next up, Multi. You know what? He goes better than Acrid. Put him in front of Acrid. Yeah, okay. So Multi's broken once you get power mode. Outside of power mode, he'd be B tier. But he's A tier whenever you have power mode. Power mode is so broken. It doesn't matter what combination you're using. Double saws, double nail gun, double scrap launcher, rebar puncher, a mixture of any of these things. Literally, no matter what, power mode is broken. You get ridiculous armor, you literally become a tank like you are just unkillable in this state where you literally like an elder lamarian can shotgun you and it, you just felt like you got stung by a mosquito like power mode is broken the stun thing is kind of useful but it drops off late game and the then the uh the what's it called i don't know the, when you turn into a convertible okay that's good mobility and also during that you also get armor so half the time more more than half the time a majority of the time you are literally just a tank that can barely be damaged not to mention when you can turn into a convertible you can literally run things over and if it's t something too big to run over you hit it for big damage like that'll proc a band which is just broken okay Last character, Rex. Now, I've had my fun with Rex, 
and I used to think he was way up here in S tier, but honestly, B tier, maybe, yeah, in front of Artificer. So Rex, Rex is a fun character, he's, there's just a problem with them, and that's the fact that you have to damage yourself more than the enemies damage you to do less damage than enemies would do to you. Like, bro, please, you literally, like, never have one-shot protection up as Rex because you're always sacrificing your own health. And his ultimate thing, his, uh, like, thorn vine thing or whatever, whatever the hell it is where it ensnares enemies, that thing is good. It keeps your health up, but it doesn't keep your health up when your only good source of damage is spamming your secondary. It doesn't keep your health up enough when that's the only thing you do is just drain your health. Like, Rex, fun character, but too risky. Alright, so the recap. Engineer, Loader, Mercenary, and Bandit in S tier. Engineer, simple explanation, Bungus. Loader, One Punch Man combined with Spider-Man. Mercenary, Invincible 90% of the time. Bandit, Crazy Damage and Stealth. Then we have A tier, Multi, Acrid, Captain, Huntress. Multi. You can turn into a convertible, and you're always a tank. Acrid. Poison Dog. Decent damage. Too, too weird because melee hybrid. Captain. Good overall, no mobility, you lose half of them in alternate realm. Huntress, Glass Cannon, Rex, One Shot Protection does not exist, Artificer, the correct mobility does not exist, Heretic, you are weird, Commando, you just bought the game and you don't know what you're doing, and you probably won't be off of me for a while. But if you ever, if you ever use Commando, if you ever use Commando, if you have other characters, do not play Commando unless you want the hardest challenge of your life. And you know what I have to say about all of this, is that every single character becomes S tier if you are not playing Monster. If you are playing Brainstorm or Drizzle, first off, exit, exit the building, exit the Risk of Rain 2 department. The door is right there. Get out. I'll, I'll hold it open for you, please. Get out if you are not playing Monsoon or Eclipse or Prismatic Club. When you're not playing Monsoon, literally everything just goes to S. That's what happens when you play anything other than Monsoon. Please, play Monsoon and you'll realize what the tier list actually is where everything should really be, and that is just like this. Just like that. That is specifically how it is if you play Monsoon. If you don't play Monsoon, all of these guys go to S2. Alright, hopefully you guys enjoyed my objective rundown of every character and what tier they are. So, as a lesson learned, Always play Monsoon, never play this guy if you try to play as this character. You are weird. Always play as these four Giga Chads.